friend Brenda Watson, the guru of gut health, and uh, she knows more about the gut than anybody I'm aware of. She's come here today again. It's a four-part series you're doing with me, which is quite wonderful, called the Hope Formula. Now, we already talked about fiber. Today, right. we're going to talk about omega-3. 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 So tell me why omega-3 is so important. Omega-3s are probably one of the most important nutrients that we can get in our diet, actually, that helps us with preventing heart disease, with preventing arthritis, with inflammation, with all the different things that we develop in chronic disease as, you know, as we age and grow older. It is not enough of it is eaten in our foods, so therefore people are deficient in it. Actually, 84,000 people a year die I've heard that, <laughs> yeah. die from a lack of omega-3. Omega Unbelievable. You mentioned um, inflammation mm -hmm. um, in passing when we were talking. That's the big buzzword. It is. Uh, people are saying that it's not cholesterol, really, that we have to worry about so much as inflammation. Right. Right? Let me explain that. Please do. Because the reason people people have elevated cholesterol is cholesterol is what the body sends to all the redness to heal it. So the, when the body is saying, I need healing somewhere, cholesterol is elevated so it can go in and help the body heal. It's a signal. It's the first sign something's out of balance here. There's two kinds of inflammation. Let's okay. say you slam your finger in the door and it swells up. Right. You know. It's inflamed. It's inflamed <laughs> and, it's, and you're in pain, yeah, right? Right, right. So what if you had that swollen finger inside of your body, but you couldn't feel it? Mm and you couldn't see it. So it was just sitting there and it was causing you damage. And um, that damage could lead to what we call lead. a catastrophic event? Right, heart attack and stroke. Eventually it can lead to Alzheimer's. You know, it can lead to arthritis and these other conditions in the body. But what most people don't understand is one of the ways in which we develop the silent inflammation is through the digestive system, through a condition called leaky gut. Oh, leaky gut, yeah. it's, it's so prevalent. Explain what a leaky gut is. Okay, well, let's look at an animation. Okay. But first what we have, if you can imagine inside of your digestive tract, which is a tube we've talked about before, mm -hmm. 30 feet long, the small intestine is where you absorb most of the nutrients from your food. And when it's healthy, it has a nice mucosal lining filled with probiotics, and it's digesting your foods, and life is good. Mm -hmm. But life comes along, poor food quality, too many antibiotics, bad oils, not enough omega-3, and the lining of the gut literally erodes. So it's no longer a barrier. See, ideally, it would be a barrier that keeps the bad stuff out of your blood. Right. What gets in your blood is what creates the inflammation, the bad toxins and pathogens. So it, leaky gut is like little holes in the lining of the stomach and then the poison and the toxins leak out into your bloodstream? Yes. So can you plug up the, the little holes in the, in the uh, lining of the gut with you, anything? You can because the gut sheds and rebuilds itself every three to five days. So what would do that? Omega-3s. Well, there you go. Yeah. Omega-3s heal the leaky gut, stops the spillage into the bloodstream, and the flow of toxins around the body, creating the silent inflammation that you don't see or hear. Now, here's something. If you have high blood pressure, mm -hmm. if you have high blood sugar, mm -hmm. or if you have um, high cholesterol, which you were talking about earlier, you have silent inflammation. Yes. You have it. Let's talk about the inflammation there. We depicted inflammation everywhere it's red. So, for oh, example, this would be after shape. the toxins have spilled into the bloodstream, the, you know, the inflammatory proteins have circulated throughout the body. Some go in the brain, some go in the joints, some go in the gut, lungs. All these areas develop redness. And, you know, if you burned your skin, think of your digestive, inside your digestive tract, your digestive system, the lining. Right. Think of it like the skin on the outside of your body. If you got out in the sun and you got a sunburn, what would you do? Yeah, you'd, you'd want to put something soothing on it. Aloe or something yeah, like that, right, right? Right. Okay, so inside your digestive system, if it becomes red and inflamed, it's just like the sunburn on the skin, and the omega-3s heal that sunburn. Well, this guy's on fire. He's on fire. <laughs> 
<laughs> I mean, really. I don't He's hurting. <laughs> yeah. So what, I'm looking at him. Was he? Have, he must have stiff joints. He has stiff joints, probably arthritis. What's he going on with his brain? It's all red up there. Uh, too much um, fire in his brain, uh -huh. probably starting to develop some degeneration there. So uh, losing neurons yes. as a result of a lack of omega-3s. Right. Very important. Essential in brain is yeah. right. Okay, and then what's happening is gutted. That's all red. That's so that all red. That's all inflamed, and it's uh, it's and so th that is the typical situation that's going on with people who are ill. Everybody. Yeah, everybody ill, but people who are on the way to get to becoming ill. Omega three essential fatty acids. Dr. Wright once told me that you need to take enough every day to bathe every cell in the body. Exactly. How much is that? It's about 3,000 milligrams a day. And so that, is that, if, if they were, so like three capsules? If a capsule is 1,000 milligrams of omega-3, uh -huh. then you would take three capsules a day. Most people, Suzanne, are clueless about what they're taking in omega-3s. They go and get a fish oil. They don't really read the label or know how to read the label. So this is one of the things we're doing is educating them on if you're going to take an omega-3 supplement, you need to take enough to do some good. It's very enlightening. And I'm women out there thinking about your hair, skin, and nails as we grow older. I mean, who doesn't want to glow? Right. Who doesn't want healthy hair? Who wants to see their fingernails become you know, ridged and all the things that happen. I find the whole thing with, with health and aging is understanding um, what we once had and our body's no longer making or we're no longer accessing it, that when you put it back, things seem to normalize. They do. Mm -hmm. We give the body what it needs to heal itself. Okay, we need to take a quick break, but fascinating information. When we get back, we're going to look at some of the best food sources to get omega-3s, plus there's something fishy going on. We'll let you in on a little secret about standard fish oil supplements. You want to come back to that.